All right, man, Kevin Durant staying with the uh, Brooklyn Nets. And I predicted that he would stay with the Brooklyn Nets, especially after the high price um, they were offering. They was asking for him. I mean, they asked the Boston Celtics for uh, um, Jason Tatum and, and Jalen Brown. You know, so they was asking too much. So, you know, at the end of the day, they knew Kevin Durant was at the age. He was about to be, what, 34? He knew he was at the age where he couldn't retire and sit out. Um, you know, so they really had the leverage. He signed a four-year deal for whatever reason it was. Um, and people still won't be happy with this. You know, and I'm going to speak on Patrick Beverly in uh, probably another place another time. But people still not going to be happy with his decision. But Kevin Durant already figured out no matter what I do, people are already going to vilify me. All over, it's all over LeBron James because he stopped LeBron from getting them titles because he joined Golden State. But then again, think about it. LeBron didn't cheat and they didn't suspend Draymond and they didn't cheat. Who suspends somebody in the championship game? If he didn't cheat, he would have had he would have still he Kevin Durant never would have came there. So look at the cause and the fact he made it they made it worse on LeBron James and LeBron was losing finals way before they came on the scene. But that's why he get the hate and Steph Curry don't get no hate for. Going to the Hamptons, begging them. People say, well, you know, he didn't have to go, nothing like that. But at the end of the day, I be the villain, bro. I'm, at least he ain't kissing up and kissing LeBron ass. And that's what I do respect about Kevin Durant. All these dudes go out here and they go on over and beyond and they love LeBron. Like, where's the competitive nature? At least people used to Mitch Richmond and Chris Mullins and Reggie Jackson. I mean, Reggie uh, Miller. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these dudes used to go after Michael Jordan, John Starks, Allen Iverson. Man, it was, you know, ah, oh, fuck with Mike. You know, it's. Like he levitating, he glowing and all that, but they went at Michael Jordan. These dudes just love LeBron. It's just a love fest. The AAU really destroyed the competitive balance in basketball, especially the NBA. College seemed more competitive, to be honest. Seemed more edgy and chippy. But it says Kevin Durant seems to end trade request after the Nets announced they will move forward with our partnership. Tyler Greenwalk said Kevin Durant and Brooklyn Nets uh, appeared to admit fences after tumultuous offseason. The team announced via a statement from general manager Sean Marks that Mark Durant, Nets head coach Steve Nash, Nets owner Joseph Sy, Rich Kleiman, Durant's business partner, all met and agreed to move forward heading into the 2022 season. He said this is effectively in the nightmare that was the 2022 offseason for the Nets that began with misgiving uh, about Ky uh, Kyrie Irving's future. With the team and evolved into a full blown meltdown when Durant officially requested a trade from the Nets with four years left on his contract. Whether or not this ends is the end of Durant's feud with the Nets remains to be seen, but it appears that the two sides will have at least come to an understanding of the of their immediate futures. The Nets had already began telling uh, teams they plan to keep Irvin this season, according to the Athletics Sham, but reports that Memphis Grizzlies had entered a trade discussion for Durant's service this week as well. Now it appears as though the Nets will bring back both anchors of their 2022 squad and should get fully healthy Ben Simmons back on the court as well. Um, so um, they still ain't got nobody in the middle. I think they let uh, uh, Claxton. They, I think they let Claxton walk. So I don't trust. I don't trust Kyrie Irving and I don't trust Kevin Durant. Age and health. Everybody don't age like Kareem and LeBron James. So that's what I don't trust. I don't trust Kevin Durant health in his age at his age, and I don't trust Kyrie Irving. You know, that's what I don't trust. They're not gonna win it, they're not gonna get it done. It's always something in the way. And if they felt they can get it done, James Harden never would have would have went to Philadelphia. So chew on that for a while. Chew on that. So they don't think they they, they can't, I don't think they're gonna get it done. And I ain't no Brooklyn Nets hater, ain't no KD Kyrie hater, Ben Simmons hater. But it's just always something going on. And backs are tricky. Back injury are tricky. Achilles are in tricky. Kevin Durant missed significant time the last two seasons. And he looked like he was injured in the last the last series. He might have lost a step. It looked like he probably lost a step. So, like I said, this ain't going a good way. Kyrie, players don't get, as they advance in their careers, they don't get healthier. Athletes don't just automatically just find a fountain to you. Not without some assistance. Wink, wink. 
And obviously, they keep a Kyrie. I mean, like I said before, it's just a dysfunctional team. Kyrie is dysfunctional. He spares, he, he spearheads dysfunction. It's always one thing with Kyrie Irving. It's just like, man, dude. And it just seems to decimate the team. It seems to be infectious. And obviously not in a good way. You know, you hear, you know, all they care about is uh they stats and being selfish. You heard Goran Draga say he ain't. And they still got Nicholas Claxton. Okay. You know, that's all you hear you hear them say. You know, and you just look at it, man. And they got TJ Warren, he coming off a major uh injury. Um, you got Joe Harris. I mean, they kept Nicholas. Man, I, I don't I just don't believe him. And then you know, you try to get somebody fired, and you think everything supposed to be good. That's damn near that's that's damn near equivalent of trying to kill somebody on the street, and y'all supposed to make amends. No matter if it was a misunderstanding, dude, you try to take food off my family plate. Come on, that, that cannot, man. If he, he never came out and denied that he tried to get them fired, neither. He denied some other crap, but he never came out here uh, and denied that he uh, tried to get uh, Steve Nash fired. He never denied it. You know, he never denied it. You know? So, how can you, you know, I know dudes, you know, we able to get over stuff quick, at least in this generation, and you know, I came in behind me, you know, used to, you know, fighting to be cool the next day or a couple days later, you know, but, these, man, these dudes, man, this is a different breed, you know. You know, so you know, you know, but you know, quite frankly, how do you get over that, dude? How do you get over? How do you get over it? And then when you when you demanded you demanded that uh you demanded that these dudes be fired, Joseph side took their side. And now you stuck here because you signed a dumb contract. Come on, how does how does that how does that work? And then all it takes is Kyrie just to kind of nudge a nigga in the back in the back for all this to fall apart. All this to take is a false rumor for all this to fall apart. That's not a tight knit group when you try to you say it's either me or them. And obviously, guess what? Day one, and Kevin Durant didn't. So this ain't over with. Trust and believe, this ain't over with. Day day one, Sean Marks and Steve Nash won. You know, Ben Simmons got his way. LeBron get his way. But Kevin Durant don't get his way. And they can say, well, LeBron did. did LeBron want to leave a place, man. With the powers vested in Nike and the power invested into the NBA, they gonna make sure LeBron get accommodated wherever he wanna go. Trust and believe that. Kevin Durant just ain't on that level. He ain't on that level, bro. And, 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 and it's as simple as that. He ain't on that level. And he signed a dumb contract. So that's on him. That's on him. But, I mean, ultimately it is what it is. He He's he stuck in that position. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And I'm telling you, if it don't go right, man, he going to get the bitching and complaining again. And I don't envision it. This shit being on a straight path for too long. We might we might get action before uh we might get we might get action before a real season regular season game start. Come on, this dude Kyrie Hill practices after Steve Nash practices. What else do we need to talk about? <laughs> mm-hmm. What else do we need to talk about? This dude held practices after Steve Nash original practices. 
Kevin Durant wanted to fire. Then Kyrie came out and said, well, I never said I hated Sean Marks and Steve Nash, but KD was mad. It came out, and he never denied this neither. KD was mad that Sean Marks and uh, – Sean Marks and uh and Steve Nash and take time to get to know Kyrie Irving. Just a big dysfunction, dude. Hella dysfunctional. <laughs> Hella dysfunctional. You know what I'm saying? But you know, ultimately it is what it is, man. And I don't I I, I expect you to hear these trade request rumors uh at some point next season. That's what I believe. Um I don't think this shit gonna be right for too long. You know, but looking at the roster, Kevin Durant, Joe Harris, Blake Griffin, Kyrie Irving, uh Patty Mills, he did trade for Royce O'Neal, uh Dayron Sharp, whoever the hell that is, Ben Simmons, Edmund Summers, whoever that is, Cam Thomas, TJ Warren, Aldonis Williams, whoever that is. So you got Ben Simmons with a back injury. I mean, I don't really, I don't really see them doing much next year. They might look good for a while, but when the rubber hit the road, KD an old man, and Kyrie never, did Kyrie too busy being an activist to work on his game. Don't like he ever hit the weight room. Don't like he never worked on his body. That's why he always injured. So it is what it is. I don't expect this core to be around, to be intact too long. So let me know what you girls and guys think. Check the NBA Talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance get notifications. We go live, drop a video. Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. You want to donate? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Peace.